In 1982, the third entry in the Halloween series, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, was released. However, fans weren't too pleased with it, mainly because it was quite different from the previous two movies. For example, there was no Michael Myers in it. The film initially failed, but in recent years, the film has been reappraised as one of the most underrated movies of the horror genre, especially in the 1980s. Which leads me to ask the question, is Halloween 3 underrated? It certainly seems like it. Whenever this film is mentioned on the internet, it seems like people go crazy for it. While I wouldn't say it's the most underrated horror film ever, it is pretty good. I wouldn't even say it's the best Halloween movie. And it's really just different. I can understand why people were expecting to see Michael Myers back. After all, he had already appeared in two movies, so it was natural to, expect to assume that he would be back. But at the same time, Michael Myers suffered such a brutal death in Halloween 2, being burned alive. And you could even make the argument that both Halloween 1 and 2 are really just one movie, since both events, since the events of two movies take place on the same night, with Halloween 2 picking up right where the first one left off. The film, this film was directed by Tommy Lee Wallace, who, edited, who actually edited the first film, and would later go on to direct Fright Night 2 and It. The film was also produced by John Carpenter, who directed, who wrote and directed the first movie as well. I think he also produced it as well, and he also provided the music for this one as well. And the music is quite possibly the best part about this film. It has a very creepy atmosphere to it, and it's just great. The film has a witchcraft theme, which is very interesting. There's this company, Silver Shamrock, which sells masks to children. They asked to watch some type of marathon on Halloween, how the masks are pretty deadly, and it's revealed that the owner of the company is actually trying to bring Halloween back to its sacrificial origins, Samhain I think it's called. And that's really interesting, and that's a great idea. I don't think that's ever been done before, or it maybe ha it has, but especially considering that this film is called Halloween, that's pretty cool. The film isn't necessarily gory, but the death scenes are pretty intense. Hell, the film actually kills children off. Tell me that doesn't take guts. Overall, I'm not really going to talk about talk about doing this movie, really talking about this movie too much, since I've already talked about it last year in my Halloween retrospective. Nevertheless, I do think that this film is underrated. Maybe not as much as other people do, but I do think that it is underrated. It's definitely worth the watch, especially this close to the Halloween season. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out, because it's a pretty cool movie. I wouldn't say it's the best Halloween movie, but it is probably up there. So that's all for this episode of Metalween, and I'll check in with you tomorrow for a brand new Metal Matt podcast, and I'll see you then.